here is an ironic relationship that no one's talking about. So I guess it's my job to talk about it. Imagine this. In general, people who will predictably be against abortion and wanting to make sure to somehow get abortion to be illegal again, like make America great again, make abortion illegal again, right? People who are most predictably against abortion, not only just privately, morally, but also when it comes to the law, what you're gonna find often, typically in general, in the United States is that is evangelical Christians. Now what's interesting is, what happens if babies are not aborted? Well, they end up being born. And often they end up being born to broken homes. And often from those broken home situations, they end up in foster care. If they even make it that far, because often they are given up for adoption instead of being aborted. Okay, so people who are Christians don't want these babies to be aborted. So for the ones that are not aborted, when their wish comes true, good, the babies weren't aborted, good. Okay, well now the babies are born, and they end up needing to be adopted, or they end up in, in foster care, okay? So that the Christians are happy, that's good. The babies weren't aborted, but now they need to be adopted. Well, there are a lot of Christian families who adopt children, and they should, and that makes sense. But there's not enough Christian families that are willing to adopt those children who weren't aborted. So then what happens? Well, now here in the United States, gay marriage is, is legal, and not that, not that you had, well, do you have to be married to adopt? No, but ultimately my concept is this. It's becoming normal now for gay couples, especially married gay couples to adopt. And who are they adopting? They're adopting from the same pool of children who weren't aborted. So what I'm saying is if babies are not aborted, there's a good chance they're going to end up adopted by gay couples, married gay couples. Let's process that because the Christians who do not want the babies aborted also are in the same category of the people who were against gay marriage and are ultimately against probably gay people adopting children. But that's what happens when babies are not aborted. It's going to create a situation where those babies born, are a lot of them are going to end up being adopted by gay couples. And I think that's ironic. I think that's a paradox that ultimately would there be as many children for the gay people to adopt if abortion was more widely accepted. Now what's interesting, and I, I think I can't end this video without explaining where I am in the spectrum because I'm removed from it. I do morally oppose abortion 100%, but at the same time, I don't have a problem with gay people adopting children because I think, well, if so, Someone needs to adopt these children. Someone needs to help out here. The Bible specifically talks about caring for the orphans and the widows. So the irony is, gay couples who often do not identify with, especially evangelical Christian uh, vision there, they're, uh, they're the ones actually doing what the Bible's saying to do, to care for the orphans, and they're adopting them. And I think that's interesting, and I think that's ironic, and I think that's somewhat of a paradox that these two opposing sides, in theory, because they morally oppose each other, the Christians are, are uh, opposed to the lifestyle of gay couples, and specifically did not want them to get married. But, but when children, are, when babies are not aborted, they end up needing to be adopted. And often it's the gay couples that are adopting them. Why is no one talking about this? This is a very interesting concept. I love being challenged by morality. I love be, being challenged by people's own visions. Your comments belong right here.